There are three recommended IPM approaches for sustainable farming systems. Level 1 and Level 2 tactics are aimed at preventing insect pest outbreaks. Numerous trap crop and pest exclusion videos with research-based information is available on the Alabama Vegetable IPM website. Use of bio-rational insecticides is really the last resort in a sustainable farming system. All IPM approaches aim at conserving the natural enemies. In general, there are several categories of organic insecticides in the market today that have a wide range of activity against insect pests. Organic insecticides are often called bio-rational insecticides since they don't persist in the environment and have minimal non-target effects. Majority of organic products popular today have contact and stomach action. These include very popular Bt, neem, and natural pyrethrin-based products. Based on IPM studies in Alabama, there is strong evidence that bio-rational insecticides can be highly effective against insect pests if products are chosen carefully and applied timely. It is also important to apply insecticides routinely under a high pest pressure condition as shown in the image above where armyworm and hornworm caterpillars devastated the crop stand in untreated plots. The timely applications of organic insecticides can not only improve plant stands, but the late season applications can reduce direct yield losses. Extension surveys have indicated that without the proper use of pest prevention and control tactics, producers can lose 50% or more vegetable yield. In short, organic producers need to remember that they must document pest species, activity, and effectiveness of control methods as part of a site-specific IPM plan. It is a good idea to use pheromone traps and other monitoring tools in the beginning of the season to detect the onset of moths. Drought and other environmental stresses can increase the insect pest activity that may necessitate the use of organic insecticides early in the season. There are plenty of organic options for caterpillar control. If you suspect a mixed population of caterpillars, weekly application of Zentari, a BT product, has been very successful in research plots. Zentari can be tank mixed or rotated with other active ingredients. Aphid control is yet a challenge, although several products appear to slow down development if used immediately after detection. Conservation of natural enemies or use of commercially available natural enemies in enclosed spaces are some useful tactics. We encourage producers to check out the Trap Crop video series on the Alabama Vegetable IPM website for managing larger sucking insect pests. Producers are also encouraged to utilize good quality sprayers with specially directed nozzles that improve insecticide delivery to target insects. Scout crops before and after organic insecticide applications in order to record the effectiveness of the products. Stop using insecticides when not needed to protect natural enemies. Producers are encouraged to refer to the additional IPM training modules on the Alabama Vegetable IPM website and utilize several approaches to pest management. Gardeners and producers can also sign up for the Alabama IPM Communicator newsletter to receive pest alert and event updates throughout the year. Don't delay, subscribe to the newsletter today by visiting the website shown here. Mention of product names in this educational video does not mean an endorsement.